So have you guys ever had a problem with your hooks rusting? Well, I certainly have, and if you're like most bass fishermen, you have too. It's a bad problem, you know, it just happens. We're around the elements, we're on the water, you know, we're exposed to it. Moisture gets in our tackle boxes. You go to open them up and what do you find? You just, you got a nasty mess. Well, I got a few things that I do that have dramatically cut down the rust in my boat, in my tackle, and I'm gonna show them to you. Everybody has worm hooks. We all use them for soft plastics. You don't want those bad boys to be rusty. So, we've all seen the little tackle boxes that have little dividers in them and the little rubber um, seals on them and stuff like that. I used to use those, you know, but the problem I saw with them is that when you're exposed to the elements, say, you know, there's waves coming over or there's mist or, you know, you just use a hook and put it back in there, the moisture is going to be sealed in there and then you're going to have serious problems. So what I like to do is use a bigger box like the one I have here, a thicker box, and keep all of my hooks in the packages. That is the key. I keep them in the packages. I've got them clearly organized here. I've got, you know, worm hooks, wide gaps, uh, drop shot, frog hooks, flipping hooks, whatever. I've got them all, and keeping them in these little dividers is like little folders, and I can pack a ton of hooks in here, and they all are rust free, which is the key, right? The next thing, is your hard baits. You can't put all your hard baits in individual packages. It's just impossible. Your, your hooks would be poking through. You know, it, it's too tedious, too time consuming. So, we've all seen these little bad boys right here that you get in stuff that's brand new and they say, gel, throw away, do not eat. Okay, well don't throw these away and certainly don't eat them. But what you can do is you put them in your tackle boxes, they soak up the moisture. The silica gel in there, it soaks up the moisture, it keeps it away from your hooks. So, you know, when you're opening your tackle box and maybe it's misting outside, or you're using a bait, you cut it off, you put another one on and you just put that one right back in the tackle box, that little bit of moisture in there is gonna get soaked up by these and it's gonna keep the rust from getting on your hooks. I also use tungsten weights. Tungsten weights can get rust on them real bad, and you, you wouldn't think so, but I've seen it a lot of times. I use Lake Fork Tackle's Mega Tungsten Weights, or Tungsten Mega Weights, rather. They come in packages like this, they're labeled, so I just keep those in there, but I've got other brands in here as well, and what I'll do is I'll get little packages like this. You can buy them at Hobby Lobby by the thousands, and I'll just label them. Now this one's a little worn off, but it's a half ounce. This is a Carolina rig. So I'll just label these. I'll put them in the boxes. Same thing as the hooks. Very well organized. I can pack a ton of stuff in here and everything stays nice and dry and rust free. And that's the key. So that's what I do guys. Make sure you try that out if you're having rust problems. I think it'll really help you.